What's up, political gamers? Welcome back to another politicized gaming video. And today, we're going to be playing Russia, forming the Soviet Union, attempting to get nukes. And then we're going to be subjugating the entire world under the great communist regime. Now, one of the hardest parts to playing Russia is actually getting Russia itself. It is a very popular country. All right, we were way slow to that, but we actually did end up getting it. Now, I'm aware I haven't made a proper Russian video on this channel. So th here it is right here. We're going to start off with our common factory setup to electronics to fertilizer. And we're going to go ahead and start justifying on Ukraine and actually Kazakhstan. We are going to justify on Kazakhstan mainly because it is a prime target for any Chinese player. Chinese players love taking Kazakhstan, right? Let's check out our military leaders. Oh, wow. Okay. XP bonus. That is, that guy's actually pretty decent. Uh, Finland wants a alliance. We're not going to accept that. He is pretty lucky that we're forming the Soviet Union and not the Russian empire. Going to go ahead and also start researching research output. We're not going to spend our political power unless we get a political reformer, which we did. Very nice. And a head of government, so we don't get a head of government. Actually, we are going to pick up the head of research as well, because that guy's always good. And it appears the Chinese player is actually not going to be going for Kazakhstan, so that's awesome for us. The server is a little bit low on population, but that should be fine. As long as these people stay in here, we should be fine. As long as it doesn't, like, you know, completely collapse down to, like, maybe 10 people. This server is still decently alive, but, you know, a little, it, it is a little bit on the low side. There's our justification with Ukraine. Ukraine is also not a player, so that just makes it a little bit easier on us. You don't have to try as hard, I guess you could say. Let's go ahead and get these electronics sold as well. Get our economy up and functioning. All right, so if Finland is... Okay, Finland is actually going for Estonia. We are going to have to actually go to war with Finland. So he basically just signed his death warrant by doing that. Let's go ahead and build some two motor factories and one steel factory i'm a bit i've not played russia in a hot minute uh, i'm a def i'm definitely a bit rusty as russia yeah there we go okay there's our war goal on kazakhstan then i think we just go straight for the capital here we're gonna end up taking ukraine no problem i'm now going to up the government spending finland is still asking for an alliance but i now know for sure that's not going to happen unless he just releases estonia to us all right, we have enough for three civilian factories, well, which will get us some stability and some consumer goods, which we can then turn around and sell. Italy wants to buy 987 iron for... Okay, I'm going to accept that offer. That's a lot of money. All right, Ukraine has been annexed. I don't know if that action is going to get me demonetized. Hopefully that doesn't. Our next course of action is going to be building a aircraft factory. Aircraft is an extremely important thing to have at the start of the game. All right, I'm going to check out the Middle East now. It's always a problem if somebody like Iran is a player or sometimes even Afghanistan. But we do not have a Iran player, so that's fine. Egypt is actually invading Turkey, so that's even more interesting, isn't it? And attack Belarus. Let's enter Belarus now. Annex, Moldova. Let's move up to the Baltics over here. I'm gonna check out how Finland's doing. Okay, he's still just sitting there. Interesting. Let's go ahead and start making some attackers, and we're gonna build our military up to conquer Finland here. We have consumer goods now, so let's go ahead and up our taxation to maximum. Let's sell 40 consumer goods to somebody if we can. I think Japan. Okay, Japan is just bugged out. They're not even. Okay, there we go. Japan does end up accepting that. Very nice. Okay, America is a player. Is he good? I'm hoping for a good American player. I guess we'll see what happens there. Considering the fact that he was at war with an island, I'm not too sure about that. I guess we can look at China. Maybe they're good at the game. Okay, they're taking Korea. Did they take? They didn't take Hong Kong or Macau. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens later on in the game. Just to find the rest of Caucasia, and we're going to start just to find on the stands now. We are losing stability. It is a new year, so let's check out our leaders nothing good nothing good at all this chief judge actually might be good oh yeah that's extremely good okay it appears india is not going for caucasia that's better for us 
he may be a problem in the future actually yeah he's probably going to be a problem in the future for some reason the usa is rank six now i'm actually not sh too sure how that happened i'm not even sure how that's possible actually this guy has yeah he's 280 million with it as democracy i'm not even sure how that happens how do you get so low in the rankings he must have yeah he must be on low taxes and all of that right now that is that does not seem right russia is higher than the usa in the rankings very interesting okay he has low stability as well new england just separated i knew something like that just had to that just looked extremely weird there goes texas unfortunate that the usa is collapsing however i think india will provide competition because they will be the maria empire just to fight on finland here he has left the game so a bit unfortunate we're gonna we're not gonna get a player war Probably going to have to declare war on Germany to get a player war. That's fine, though. We have a land doctrine now. I think we're, we are going to go for... We're going to go for static lines. We may, we may change over to mass attack later. Purely just because I think spamming is what I want to do for this video. Because it kind of fits the the Soviet Union theme. So we, we're probably going to switch over to mass attack later on. And what we're actually going to do is spend all of our money on consumer goods. We are getting close to forming the Soviet Union. Definitely not a type of research style game. We're going to try to get some research after we form the Soviet Union. However, we're definitely going to be a bit later to it. We're going to be more focused on war. All right, we can declare war on Finland now. After this war, we will be able to form the Great Soviet Union. I'm going to go ahead and start making troops to take out Tunisia and Libya down here. I don't think anybody's going for them, so we're going to go ahead and take that because that false fate's going to be huge when we start factory spamming. And Finland is no more. We are an inch away from forming the Soviet Union here. Let's go ahead and move these troops through the canal and over to Tunisia. All right, so we actually are a superpower. That is very interesting. Okay, China and India. We do have some competition. That's what I was worried about. We do not have... I was worried about not having any competition, but... These guys, based on what I'm seeing here, they seem to be pretty decent at the game. So I'm glad for that. I'm glad we're going to have some competition here. And let's form the Soviet Union. Let's make sure we're not accidentally forming the Russian Empire. All right. And we have successfully just reformed the Soviet Union. Very nice. And you know what's very surprising is we haven't got a single alliance request from anybody besides Finland at the start of the game. Which is very surprising considering that we are Russia. It's very surprising for that to happen. Usually you get spammed with alliances. As as well as trades. I don't think we have any, we haven't had anybody send us a trade this game besides Italy, and that was a bulk trade, which is even weirder. Seeing a bulk iron trade at the start of the game is very strange. This is definitely a weird game, I would say. Extremely weird, most definitely. Let's go ahead and take over Tunisia. That will solve our phosphate problems for the entire game. It appears, is India going for Iran? Okay, it appears India might be going for Iran. China doesn't seem to be a threat right now. They're not really doing anything on our border. India might be a threat. Yeah, look at that. They have artillery. I'm not sure what they're planning. They are moving it closer to us as well. That is definitely interesting. Hopefully that's just a mistake and he accidentally moved it there. I don't think we need to defend it yet. However, I will go greater support first just in case just in case we got to be safe here i usually do go military planning first but for this piece of artillery i don't know that could be a problem in the future possibly so we got to be prepared for that here we go all of our false fate problems gun south africa this is a concern angola has a lot of diamonds as well however i think we should probably move over to south africa eventually because we you will be needing diamonds at the, as the soviet union if you do plan on you know building mines on literally everything you're gonna need a lot of diamonds but i don't think we need the south african amounts right now they have 29 angola has a second amount income which is six i think that should suffice I'm going to keep troops in Kazakhstan and, also, and I'm also going to move troops over to China over here. You never know what could happen. Plus, I mean, we just have a bunch of troops sitting around not really doing anything. So they might as well be used for defense. We're not going to do a type of border defense, though, because that does raise tensions between nations. 
we're going to keep an open border just so you know nobody has the wrong idea oh okay, yeah our maria has just passed china in the rankings looks like they are developing as well okay yep this guy is definitely going to be some competition and might even be our downfall it depends on my same type of uh skill level you know there's not really anything you can do on a mountain border and he has the cities to bomber spam so that it would that's even more of a problem so let's just keep things good with this guy i'm actually going to send him a non-aggression pact kind of raise relations there he doesn't have to accept it that's the thing you know when people see a non-aggression pact they're probably going to be like oh, okay this guy's friendly he doesn't want war you know they can still decline it if they want to but that does kind of send the message of hey this guy doesn't want to fight you now he did end up accepting it so that's good okay we have we see enough we see a faction form up it's actually argentina i don't think that's going to go nowhere yeah that's not going to go anywhere actually our political power gain is quite slow we have canada invading america we also have mexico that's going to be interesting yeah this ain't this just an interesting game as well as Greece beating Egypt in a war. That is... I, I did not expect that at all. Seems like our South African player is kind of taking things slow. That's good for us. We don't have to worry about him taking Angola. Germany is rank 4. Okay, he's, he's definitely... He definitely has some potential. I can see it. So, I'm going to prepare some stuff beforehand. We're actually going to make... Uh, one attacker batch and then one fighter batch on all of our western airports just in case just in case because this guy definitely has the potential to launch a very deadly surprise invasion of me we can go ahead and declare war on angola now land in these two cities right here let's go ahead and send a non-aggression pact to china as well China isn't really, if you are, here's another tip for any Russian players watching this video. You should not really be scared of China if you're able to get the stands because they can't do anything. If we look at the mountain, look at this, look at that natural defense that spans almost across your entire border. But yeah, you just defend this. China literally cannot do anything against you. So do not be as scared. Do not be scared of China. We are ready to do our first development. I think we've done enough factory spamming. We can finally do a development on all of our cities. That's going to increase our income a lot here. All right. India is actually the biggest threat to oil right now. I don't know. That's a bit concerning. Hopefully, he's just taken over Saudi Arabia to do some tank spamming. And he doesn't know how to actually bomber spam because that's going to be a problem for us. Are we just developed now? Okay, that did not, that barely did anything to our, for our economy, if I'm being honest. I know that's only 6 million. It is definitely better to factory spam as Russia if you want money. Because, and developing should be done later on. Because factory spam is going to end up wielding you more money for the price you have to pay, I'm pretty sure. I will go ahead and start building mines on all of our tungsten cities. We've, we've been colonial, but we're a little bit... We're becoming more of a colonial power here now that we're in angola when have you ever seen a russian player in angola the count is probably very low right i will begin declaring our subjugation war soon we need to start spreading the communist regime however we are not communists yet so we need to hurry up and get over to communism so we can go ahead and start doing that i think a surprise attack on germany is also going to be our best shot for killing him he is he seems like he knows what he's doing defense wise so that's going to be a problem he has forts on all of his major cities and if he's on static lines you know that would be even more of a problem all right yeah we, we're making 32 tungsten now that is around 15 motor parts that we can make so let's do exactly that 15 motor factories we're going to make here the Vanguard of Socialism is a very powerful modifier. The building speed mainly. That is the good part of it. As well as the ideology powers. Controversial opinion by the way. This is extremely controversial. But I personally believe that the Soviet Union modifier is better than the Russian Empire modifier. Just hands down. Hands down. Easy. 
if you want to debate in the comments, go for it. Because I would actually love to hear why you think the Russian Empire modifier is better. My reason for stating that the Soviet Union modifier is better is because communism as Russia is already insanely overpowered. So on top of already being overpowered, you're buffing that overpoweredness even more. Now the political power gain, that is a kind of a nerf there. The, and the building speed is absolutely massive for factory spamming, which is, like I said, what you're going to be doing to build your economy as the Soviet Union. So when you can get factories done faster, that's just, I mean, I think that says enough, right? So that's my personal reason. I would love to hear yours down in the comments on why the Russian Empire is better. If you do think that, just based on my personal experience with forming the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union, it just feels much more it just feels better the soviet union modifier just feels so much better now we're gonna create a faction here this is gonna be a problem this is gonna bring us some unwanted attention let's call it the communist communist federation i like that yeah that lo that looks good communist federation that's what we're gonna do that's gonna bring us some unwanted attention but i think that's fine our first target is we're going to try to hit Germany as our first target. We actually have a faction request. China wants to join. Let me see. Are they socialists? Okay. I got to think about the content here. I got to think about the content. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You know what? We're going to get some content with China in the faction. All right. I was going to plan on warning them, but let's, let's do this. The, the Sino, uh, the Sino Russian Alliance. Let's do this. We're, we are going to subjugate the world together. The the, Chin, the Chinese and the Soviet Union. Let's do this, man. The rot consumes. That's what China said after that. The rot consumes. I wonder what that means. <laughs> We're not going to accept anybody else. Because like I said, content purposes. If we just accept everybody in, that's a problem. It's just going to be us in China and our subjects that we end up puppeting later on. All right, there's advanced machine learning. And we've just researched stalwart defense and we're almost to communism which you know what that means we're gonna we're, got, we're about to go crazy on the military here once we do end up getting communism oh perfect perfect political maneuvering that is amazing give us that corruption you know we're playing the soviet union after all i guess you know let me get that corruption Communism has arrived. We are now a communist nation. We are about to go absolutely crazy. Now, we're not going to declare. We're going to get one policy before we straight up just go crazy on the military. And that is forced labor for dissidents. I think that is an absolutely necessary one. The base population growth. In fact, you can look at that in two ways. All right. You can look at this in two ways. Most of your income is going to be coming from factories, right? Not tax income. So what does the population matter? The population debuff does not matter at all. And in fact, in fact, if you want to be technical here, less population means less spending for the spending setting. So in fact, you could actually look at this policy as a buff. Actually, that may be a very far fetched theory, but it makes sense, right? It makes sense. It just makes sense. What do you need the population for, right? You already make so much manpower. You already make so much stuff. And it seems like the Chinese have actually collapsed. Interesting. All right. Did not expect that. All right. Our content with China did not last long at all. Let's go in and start building up this Soviet Air Force. We're going to do two attacker batches and one fighter batch. And then after we get on forced labor, we're going to start the tank spamming. And we are going to subjugate Germany because they need some communism. I found out they're actually fascists. So, all right, let's turn on forced labor for dissidents and we are now ready to go absolutely crazy. I don't believe we need to train our troops. You know, this is, you know, this is actually Stalin speaking to me. You know, we just, we're just gonna be throwing tanks at the front line. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And in fact, we might even swap over to mass attack during this war because we're going to get a lot of military power just to make our experience here a little bit more realistic. 
I'm going to move my troops slightly closer to India, and I can take away my troops from China now, because we don't have to worry about China no more. There it is. Subjugation war. Let's go ahead and subjugate the Germans. Bring them under the great communist regime. Let's do it right now. Get, hit them while they're weak. He said hum in the chat, so definitely a surprise attack here. He has one fighter. Okay, did not expect that. All right, we will be able to take out the, his fighter force while wow, his fighters are actually... Okay, he has some tech on those fighters. Oh, well. Yeah, not gonna lie. I'm not, I was not expecting one fighter unit to be three. I'm gonna shred those German troops. We should be able to take Berlin right here. I do believe we will be able to. Yeah, he's gonna put a lot of troops on Berlin. He is definitely going down with a fight, I will say that. However, I think we'll. I think the Soviets will come out on top, most definitely. We're going to get a destroyer on the capital now as well. We now have an airbase in Czech Republic. Let's check out our Indian border. Nothing seems to be going on there. Let's form another non-aggression pact. You never know what could happen. The battle for Berlin is just Soviet spam, essentially. I mean, we're going to keep moving our tanks from Moscow. Keep the pressure up on this guy. Don't let him take a single inch back. Look at that infantry. It goes pretty crazy here. That fighter is crazy. That fighter is insane. That is a wild fighter, bro. He ends up taking out the attacker force. I think we should probably begin training our air force, right? Because his is just wrecking mine. We are going to do some more factory spamming in the midst of a war. Should be fine. I hope it's fine, actually. I'm also going to move my military spending up to maximum. That could probably be playing a role in why my military is so garbage right now. And yeah, another thing is he might, he's probably, he probably has tech as well. Yeah, he definitely has tech. We're, we're a bit late to the tech competition here. Meanwhile, the Indian menace is getting extremely big. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Interesting. Uh-oh, we have a problem here. All right, we're going to have to... Turn our eyes away from the German border and deal with this. We have a problem here. I'm not sure. I'm not too exact. I'm not sure exactly what is going on here. All right, never mind. We're not going to be going over to mass attack just yet. Purely because of that right there. Got to be prepared for that. Very intense. Very intense. Very, very, very intense here. That troop on Berlin is just disgusting, man. I'm seeing if we can do something cheesy right here. And maybe cap the city of Berlin without actually touching it. Yes, there it is. We are capturing the city of Berlin. Alright, we may be able to get it this time. We might. It might be possible. Oh my gosh, this guy is really good. I like this. It's always good to see good players. It's very nice. It's very refreshing, you know. It's very, very refreshing. This guy knows what he's doing for sure. Man, we might have to pull out. We just pulled in Afghanistan and Germany. I swear we didn't. I swear we just pulled in Afghanistan and Germany. There's a, there comes a time where the war is just not affordable. This is not affordable at all. He's also, he's putting us in our place. I'll tell you that. He is definitely putting us in our place. Very interesting. Very well played. Very well played. I'm not going to end this war yet. Though India is going to be a problem. India is a bit concerning. I'm not going to end the war yet though. I mean, I still see hope, but okay. I mean, okay, okay. I'm, I'm seeing his weakness here. His weakness is these million pops, which we need to take out. And we're going to do that. I'm going to put like 4K tanks next to his capital so he can't move these troops anywhere. And I'm just going to put uh, an extreme amount of pressure on these uh, million pops. My problem is definitely that I am just, I'm just, I am kind of just spamming this guy in a sense, definitely. And that's the one that's one of the main issues with my offensive here is that there is no strategy behind my attack that's why we got to create some i'm gonna send five i'm gonna park 5k tanks next to berlin as well as some destroyers over here just so it it kind of traps these this 320k death stack in berlin we've just went into that as well he's gonna help with india all right who is this guy byzantine empire Dude, okay. All right. Okay. I think we win here. I'm going to take all of his million pops. I think we win here. I'm hoping we do. Jeez. 
Oh my gosh, we just, I think we're going to take our first city, our first big city from Germany. Never mind, we're going to move the trap stack down because I need the help from it. I have to take this. And we, I think we will end up taking it, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see if we'll surrender after that. I mean, that's a pretty detrimental loss. Yeah, okay. Jeez, bro. Okay, man. That's crazy. <laughs> and now we subjugate him. I'm hoping we get an IMF loan. That would kind of bail us out here. We're on to the next now, I guess. I guess the next is Belgium. We have to make this guy communist. It's another surprise attack. Hopefully it doesn't go wrong. And then we'll focus on taking out Africa, I guess, right? Yeah. Oh, and then he seeds away. Unfortunate. That's fine. All right, we're just going to have to declare war on Belgium then, right? He's going to go straight in. We've just recovered. We've, we've actually not even recovered from that German war. Okay, let's just, let's just auto cap. I think we can take them. We are going to get Germany back in the game here. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add Germany back manually. We're going to recreate the Germans. The German state. Yeah, let's recreate the German state here. Transfer occupation to Germany. Go ahead and take over Poland here. I need all of that. All right. Oh, wait, it didn't work. Oh, oh man, I'm fortunate. Oh my gosh, okay. Messed that up. I messed that up uh, significantly, didn't I? Do we... Okay, we're going to send our attackers in now. I don't think he doesn't have an air force to counter. And uh, let's start researching some economic technology because I don't really like our economy right now. So it's, it's, it's big, it's big, but compared to India, you know, we look at their income is 345 million. So not good, right? Not good. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. Belgium will be forced to become a puppet state under us. Okay. I will take that. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it, bro. All right. Who is in Asia? Somebody's in Asia. Who is this? There's tanks in Asia. I'm a bit confused here. All right, there's our, there's another communist puppet right there. Here's our, here's our range of influence. You know, it's not that great. Germany definitely halted us a little bit. And for our final war, I would say uh, it's time to take out, it's time to take out India. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're going to do it. Let's go over to mass attack right now. It is going to be absolutely hilarious once we, yeah, let's go over to mass attack right now. Uh, I do want to research nukes, actually. That's kind of what this whole video was about is the Soviet Union reforming. So we can't declare war on India until we get nukes. I want to hit all three of his cities and then we're going to use the mass attack spam to absolutely just roll through this guy. We're probably going to have like stacks of 2 million or something. It's most definitely going to bring us into debt, but you know, it's for the content. So we got, you got to do what you got to do. After nuclear research, we are most likely going to go straight into infantry technology. And then after that, we should be on our way to dominating this guy. $3 billion I just put into civilian factories. Lots of money. And there's uranium enrichment. So he, he, he definitely saw that. I mean, it's literally the only thing in the news bar. So now we have to be quite... Now it's quite concerning. Let's place the uranium enricher on Moscow. All right, he has fighters everywhere. So he's actually countering bomber spam. I think it's better for him to bomber spam himself instead of, you know. So what we're going to do here, the idea for my invasion is going to be, we're going to do a flank and force right here because he's, I'm going to assume he's going to be looking at this border. We're then going to hit the nukes, so that's going to just throw him off because he's uh, he's going to get nuked, so that's going to throw him off even more. And then we're going to auto-capture this, the units that will be in the ocean. We're actually going to take over Sri Lanka for a base as well. And we are also going to do something else here with the mass attack. We got mass attack for a reason. We got to use it. Come on now. We're going to place probably around... Oh, that's a, that's a lot of, that's a big number, but 30 million in the stands region, maybe even more. I want to have stacks of like a million to just 
go straight through Afghanistan. He's not going to expect that at all. This is nobody expects you to just go straight for their front line. So while he's distracted defending this, that's when we're going to auto capture up here and that should take care of him. The nuke should do enough damage to him uh, just to weaken him just a little bit. And then from the spamming that he's doing, that's going to raise his war exhaustion. And we also have the Byzantine Empire over here, which will provide support. But I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what his strategy is for going about the war. So this is just one-on-one. -on -one. That's just my one-on-one -on -one strategy. We're not going to be... As for his colonies, they're not going to be... We may place some units next to his colonies, just so we can take that out. And yeah, I think that's going to be our strategy. It's definitely very easy to write things out. So let's actually see how it is in progress once we, once we get it ready. There is nuclear weapon design. And now we have to deal with the insane costs of the nuke. <laughs> Next tech is going to be military costs, most likely. Automate production lines is going to be absolutely necessary to making these nukes. We're going to build two silos, one in Leningrad and one in Moscow extremely expensive all right we're gonna do some manipulation in the chat it's not much just want to take over what is this is this is colombia all right and in fact we're actually not even going to be doing that at all these units are made for india but hopefully india sees that message in that chat he's paying attention to that and that throws him off even more to be less worried, I'm sure he's going to be extremely worried that we're getting a base in South America, since I just said that. We're also going to need some infantry tech as well. That is going to be very important. It's time to start the production of the nuclear weapons and also start the spam. Like I said, we are going to be going into a massive amount of debt with this, most likely. I mean, the debt that's going to happen here is just not going to be... It's going to be crazy. All right, let's go ahead and start spamming this infantry out like i said lots of units on the afghan border that is so much infantry yeah let's just keep going yeah let's just spam until we're broke yeah looks like a lot of money an infantry unit only costs us 500k crazy we've cut the price in half just gotta wait for the nukes to get done the debt okay imf loan is gonna have to come and clutch here because it's so over it's so over for us if our invasion fails and then we don't get an imf loan to do more defense it's gonna be that's gonna be gg them that is it's so over if we don't get an imf loan we have now entered debt oh <laughs> look at that debt man oh man that is a disgusting debt right there just gotta wait on the nukes to be finished we are not recovering from this if this fails and Nukes are done. Let's launch the invasion. Nuke Mumbai first. Then we hit Kolkata. Actually, which one's bigger? It's going to cause more damage. Let's see. I can't see him. Let's do Kolkata though. All right, the invasion has started. gonna take over his colonies we're gonna add the byzantine empire to the war and actually i didn't even realize <laughs> look at those losses already jeez man jeez disgusting disgusting man all right so we just hit mumbai we're gonna take over south america i hope he hasn't built submarines everywhere that would be that would be interesting if he did build submarines everywhere that would be very interesting yeah not even close to 30 million we have 6 million max not even trained up let's train him up before we advance into india he's making he's made nukes as well okay okay oh no man what is he gonna do <laughs> i did not make forts i did not make forts before and it it is so over man it is so jover I'm going to switch over to specialization. We need to, yeah, let's do that. Mountain spec as well. I just saw it in the news bar. It said he made nukes where they are uh, right there. What's he going to do? Is he going to launch them? What's he doing? There's a uh, first nuke. Oh, he's going straight for Moscow. We're going to move our troops up of Moscow. Dang, man. Okay. That's going to hit. He's going straight for, what is that? 
Istanbul. Very, very interesting. Dude, he's wrecked me. His artillery goes crazy, man. If he wants to push my front line, he literally can right now if he wanted to. All right, the invasion of uh, his colonies, though, is going pretty good. Good surprise invasion right there. Doesn't look too good right now. Does not look too good. I did not realize he actually had the technology for nukes. Oh, what about bombers? Okay, it's just fighters. It's just fighters on the front line. That's fine. Look at these losses. 19 million from the Soviet Union. Jeez. We can probably go for a DACA here. Take out that. All right, we just took DACA. Let's just go ahead and auto capture this guy. I'm also going to scorch it as well. And destroy everything on it. South Korea. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not happening. This is not happening. He's launched another nuclear missile. It isn't at me, though, thankfully. The nuke is not directed at me. Thank you. <laughs> Instead, it's directed at my ally, right? All right. I mean, decent invasion of Bangladesh there. However, uh, we just lost South Korea and some country in Africa. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we've definitely dented him. I can say that. He's not making any troops, really, either. That's the thing. So, he might be in debt as well, I'm assuming. Okay, Iran has declared independence. Byzantine Empire is bombing. I'm landing. I think he's out. He's out of the game. Yeah, he's done for. That's definitely GG's. <laughs> and of course, the 29 million Soviet casualties, you know. Of course, we had to play it realistically. Of course, we did. We have successfully won. GG well played to that man. If you are watching this video, GG well played to you. You've played very well. Nice timing, man. Nice timing. Awesome, bro. I mean, 14 million, I'll take it, but like, come on. There it is, bro. All right. War reparations as well, because they technically are alive. This is our military in case a new player comes in. Let's just do that. Jeez. Okay. Oh, okay, then. Never mind, they had way more money than I expected. Jeez, bro. 120 billion. All right. We're going to split that with our Byzantine ally there. Man had so much money. Okay. Okay, that was a pretty good game. We're going to call that GG well played. That's where the game ends right here. This is the Soviet Union. This is the Soviet Union right here. Actually pretty good. I mean, that is a lot of land right there. I think that's... I, I'm pretty sure that's bigger than the British Empire. Yeah. We are bigger than the British Empire. So there we go. We're like the Soviet Empire, right? We are rank one. Let's check out our policies here. We actually only had three policies. Quite interesting. Advance the research, forced labor, and public service. For our leaders, we had political reformer, chief judge, head of government, chief of staff, head of research, general of the army. This guy carried communism, obviously. Uh, if anybody wants to see that, we were allied to the Byzantines right there. We have 664 million people living in our country. And in fact, we're losing population on all cities. Here is our technology. We have nukes. We have decent political. We did not go. Let's go ahead and get that ideology improvement one so it looks better. Good economics, max infantry, decent tanks. Considering I only went down the tank tree for when I had to deal with Germany. No support. For our military, we were on static lines at the start. We switched over to mass attack to do some spamming. And then we finally went over specialization. Here is our leaders. Actually, all of them died. So very Soviet Union, you know. Joseph Stalin was probably in lead of this country, actually, in fact, because they're all dead. So, yeah, this is the only guy that's still alive and he's not even in use. So military modifiers, I'll just look at the army ones because that's what we focused on this game our infantry was 900 percent attack tanks 388 we didn't use those our artillery and anti-air was pretty decent and that is the country that is our country gg well played to that german india player that belgium player gg well played to all of them if it is daytime for you i hope you have a wonderful day today if it's not time for you I hope you have a good night's rest, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. GG well played.